Last week that you made yeah. was them telling me to go away and get my stuff. And they never spoke to me last week. I came in bitching at them about throwing that old lady's stuff away. And now she just told me that she had a discussion and warned me. She never spoke to me about any of those things. Did you see the video? I saw the video. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Oh, thank you. I 
just heard them fucking with the other people. Now they're, the cops are saying that they were told me. I'm like, motherfucker, don't lie to me. I'm not a child. I'm not one of your pussies that listens to everything you say because you're a little bald fucking Roman bitch. I'm a man who fucking listens to what I think. And you guys know you're wrong. Why instead of police don't you come with people that ha offer housing? Because then you won't be assholes. And then it could be good. But you send militants with guns and fucking sticks. Look at your fucking tonfa, you chicken shit Roman pussy. What are you gonna beat an old lady? You gonna beat that old lady? You gonna beat me? You gonna beat somebody with your fucking beaten stick? Is that what you're gonna do? Come here with motherfucking sticks to beat on them. You don't help them at all. And if they go away, you can go to another place for you to go over there and tell them to cut But you gotta turn them in on the road. I understand that road. totally. <laughs> These are biblical times, and this is not oh, the time man, to be an asshole. Yeah, you're killing me. Okay. You're a prophet? No. So what the fuck are you talking about? These guys are doing a job. Leave them alone. Honestly, bro, be a good member of the community. You all want it clean and safe. If you're trying to do that, what's your problem? I really don't have a problem. Okay, then. What the fuck are you going off on? <laughs> I'm fucking yelling. Well, they come up to me and start lying to me, telling me that some of us see you're a chick and shit little pussy fucking uh, woman. What? Are you what? gonna hit me? Are you gonna hit me? Oh, oh my god, you can't hit me. Talk <laughs> shit. Don't talk shit if you I talk. Like... I talk truth, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm not lying. I never lied. I'm not threatening you. I never you're, talk anything you're about you or your beliefs. You're not you're smart. Something. I and am, then you talk about I am the first one to admit that I'm not smart. You're disrespecting me like that? You're what? disrespecting me? What? Uh, you walked up You're going to hit a hippie, so then you, you hide behind your thick foot hippie shit now? After you fucking call somebody out? One way or the other, don't get it both ways there, hard ass. I can do anything I want. This is mine. Do it then. This is mine. This is yeah, mine to me. Shit. You stay the hell out of you here. You don't do shit. Yeah, there's nothing up What there. do you do? <laughs> it's empty. What do you do, brother? You sit and watch them do this and say nothing. Oh, I coming? say bring housing oh, with coming? your cops. Instead of cops, you tell me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if they would bring housing instead of police, I think they'd have a better time. They just told me a lie. How can I respect somebody who lies to my face? If they didn't lie, shit over here. we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Bro, shit over here. That's out? not mine, I told you, that's not mine. <laughs> there were there were three plastic boxes that were mine. Everything else, I don't know what the hell that is. I really don't. My guess is somebody's packing on shit alongside the mud to make it work. Because that none of that belongs to anybody I even know. I have an eight foot foot surfboard that's down on the boardwalk right now. But none of that. If they want to think I'm that other guy, that's fine. I, I mean, I don't. <laughs> and talk people. Talk to them. Hey, guys. This is going on. Don't freak out. Calm down, everybody. We're gonna. When this started with the sheriffs, they did do that. See, we could. You're right. You come with us, one of mm -hmm. us. Then they're comfortable. They're they're not being attacked. We're trying to resolve an issue together instead of them telling us, "Don't sit here. I want you to go over there." Only for tomorrow, them to go. Okay, don't go sit there. Go back to where you were. That's absurd. Every day, that's what they're gonna do? That's not helping anything. But we could do stuff right now that would help. 
but they don't want to. They'd rather lie and fight. His honor, his job, by lying to people and stealing their money. So I'm a little on edge with the LAPD. Every time they they lie and cheat and do their little fucking narcissistic rule game, they dishonor every cop that ever served this city. Every one. Your dad was an LAPD cop? LAPD. After he got out of the served ser Viet in Vietnam and came back, he, he relocated here during Vietnam, brought my, me and my mom and family here. Well, actually made me here. Yeah, after he got out of the service, he became a cop. And I tell you, man, all these people and this, these good people, they deserve better than this. They deserve somebody to actually attempt to help. Don't just say you're gonna and then tell people what to do because that does nothing. But you can help very easily. work together and get through this and make it better instead of this fight that's never going to end ever always going to be vagabonds gypsies are always going to exist just because you didn't do your job and let a bunch of drug addicts infiltrate us and make us look bad you don't get to say we're all drug addicts and we're all bad if you'd have done your fucking job there wouldn't be drug addicts walking around, and we wouldn't look so crazy. You failed. Make me look bad, and you want to come tell me to get the fuck out of here because I look bad. That's really immoral, bro. Really, really godless. Heartless, godless, immoral, indecent. And the people of L.A. deserve at least decent. Because we know you're not going to give them the leet. But decent would be nice. They cleaned up a bunch of stuff that got piled up over here. I don't know how. But they oddly left the stolen e-scooter. That I specifically told them on their cop camp. I don't know where that came from. Somebody stole that. That's, that's not even... I don't know what that is. They left it. So why did the police leave the one stolen item that they know I said was stolen, but threw everything else away? But the stolen item, you fucking left over here. That's funny. That's odd. Wow. Did you do anything? I guess that's not a question for me to ask, but left the stolen scooter over there. Threw everything else away. Surfboards he threw in the trash. The little table. Threw it in the trash. But the stolen scooter, they left jammed under there. What's really going on? What's really going on? Look that there. And look, not only Look! <laughs> I told him it was stolen, and that's not, I don't know what it is. And they took the table that was right there, two chairs, threw them away, and left that. See, now it's got my fucking fingerprints on it, which is probably what they wanted in the first one. Never seen that before in my life. <laughs> Oddly, it's jammed under the bus today, and the cops didn't take it, even though I told them that's trash and it's probably stolen. <laughs>
ticket. Red zone. Doesn't make sense. The tire's clearly beyond the, the, the red. Clearly beyond the red. They didn't even knock on the on the camper to see if anybody was in there. But I hear them as I'm in there asleep. And they don't even come up over here and knock to see if somebody is anybody in here. I jump out, see them give me a ticket, and they're already gone. I can't even ask them about this ticket, then I can't even see nothing. All thing I see is an X that says red zone. $93 or? This, this, this camp right here, we don't have to sleep in every day. It's an emergency situation. I work on the boardwalk, homeless out here on the street, trying to help myself. I use this as an emergency place sometimes, but I can't go inside my friend's house and sleep. And this is how they, they're treating people. When I, whenever I do come around here and check on the camper, I try to tweak the leaves if we can't move it. We do move it every other Tuesday. It doesn't make sense. That's the, the people are coming out here helping the, the homeless for housing and they say I don't fit the criteria because I'm not a top. The government gave money out for housing to help everybody off the streets. This isn't making sense to me. Maybe because that red tire is in the red, the spare tire. Probably, but legally, tires behind it's a tire. the line. They're marking the tires, right? They're trying to help all the homeless. Let me be a prime example. I'm one that's looking for help. They take this camper right here, and I don't have no more other emergency places to stay. Where will I be? On the streets. They got to get their act right. That don't make no sense right there. I just see that. Which means you have to move it like in 72 hours? Uh, I hope not. I should huh. take out my. my, my Court stuff, if that's the case, I don't know. Yeah, I Look. don't know. Usually they put the date and time on it, but mm -hmm. I should take out my court stuff now. Yeah, they don't make sense.